Hi all, we're going to continue with our Cisco IOS Router Labs and today we're going to talk about Border Gateway Protocol. Um, so BGP can get very complex. Um, so we're just going to look at the very basics here today, okay? So our lab topology is uh, we have our local site in the 10.10.10 subnet connected to a router here. Um, this router, all the routers are already, uh, the, you know, the interfaces are IP'd up um, and they're, uh, you know, they're all taken out of shutdown. And then uh, our R1 router here has the NAT and everything already configured to overload to the two publics. So this R1 router connects up to two ISPs, which uh, both connect down to this router down here, just representing the internet. And then we've got a public subnet out here, um, 200, 200, 200, and the .10 server to test to. So the uh, AS number for our site is triple one. ASN for ISP one is 100. ASN for ISP two is 200. And ASN for the internet there is 300, okay? So again, basic config and um, let's get started here. So to uh, start the BGP process, you do router BGP and your AS number. So we're 111 again locally here. Uh, we're gonna neighbor to uh, ISP one. So, uh, you know, again, I have dot one on my interfaces in my public subnets and I have the ISP at dot two in the same public subnet. Typically, you'll probably see point-to-point -point addresses here, but for the sake of the lab, I just have it like this, okay? So we're peering to dot two in our own subnet, that's the ISP, and then the remote AS number, so on ISP one, it's 100. And we'll neighbor to ISP two. And the remote AS number there is 200 for ISP two. And then we'll uh, advertise both our public subnets into BGP with the network statement mask and then the subnet mask oh. okay um, let's go to ISP1 here Uh, again, so here we'll do router BGP, and the AS number is 100 on router 1, ISP 1. Um, and we'll neighbor back to us at R1. The remote AS then in this case is going to be triple one. That's the AS number on our R1 router there. Uh, and then we'll neighbor out towards uh, the internet router. Uh, again, again, that's just representing the internet, right? It's just another, I guess, a third ISP to represent the cloud, all the ISPs out there. Um, so he's peering to 1.1.2. <clears throat> and the remote AS on that side is 300. Uh, okay, and then ISP2. We'll do uh, router BGP, and he's 200 for his AS number. And he's going to neighbor again back to our router one. And the remote AS then is uh, triple one, right? And he'll neighbor out to the internet. Remote AS 300. <clears throat> okay, that's good there. And I'll just jump over to the internet router. And we'll do router BGP 300. We'll neighbor to uh, ISP1. Remote AS 100. And we'll neighbor to ISP2. Uh, five. And that's uh, 200. And he has that directly connected subnet here, the 200, 200, 200. So we'll advertise that uh, network and mask. Okay. Um, he's good. I just want to confirm my uh, ISP2. Not sure we put the, uh, the neighbor to the internet. So we'll just check that. Yeah, we did. Okay. Good. Um, so if we come back to R1, you can see all the adjacencies coming up. You can do a show IP BGP to show all the BGP routes you learned. We haven't learned that 200, 200, 200 yet. 
it shouldn't be long. Um, there it is. So we've learned the 200, 200, 200, next hop to ISP1, right? Um, so it should probably work out now. If we go to, uh, if we jump to, uh, there's pub one, PC1, we should probably be able to tell it over to uh, pub one there, 200. About 10. There you go, we're into pub one. Um, so that looks fairly simple, but there's, <laughs> you know, there's a lot you can do with BGP. Um, <clears throat> we can use a local preference um, to, uh, to prefer routes coming in from uh, one of our neighbors. And then, um, so we can set the preference to, you know, a very high number. Um, and then it'll prefer to get to, you know, whatever the routes it learns from that neighbor. It'll prefer those routes over routes from another neighbor that we're pairing to. So we can prefer uh, routes from ISP1 over ISP2, for example, right? Um, uh, you can do... Uh, so let me show this. So when we do um, show, uh, show IP BGP, the asterisk are active routes, and they're all active, right? Um, there's two routes for everything, pretty much. Um, well, you know, these are directly connected, but for the 200, see, there's two routes, right? There's an active route out to ISP2, and there's an active route out to ISP1. The one with the caret here is the best route. Uh, you should see here. There, caret is best, and uh, asterisk is valid. They call it valid, not active. Um, so if you wanted to prefer one over the other, you could, you know, use, again, uh, local preference. You could... Um, can, we don't have any default route, right? So if we do a show IP route, <clears throat> gateway of last resort's not set. You could pick up default routes from ISPs. Um, you could do uh, prepending statements to prepend uh, ASNs to your, you know, AS path. So you can, you know, manipulate routing um, that way. <clears throat> um, the whole bunch you can do in BGP. Um, but again, you know, we're probably around eight minutes now in a 10 minute video, so can't get into all of it. Um, if you need to clear your, uh, um, you know, uh, BGP connection, but you don't want to actually tear down the entire adjacency, you can do a clear IP BGP um, and then your neighbor IP and then do soft, right? So that resets it without, clears out the connection without actually tearing down the entire adjacency. Um, you can do a clear IPBGP star and then, you know, really rip everything down. Um, for debugs, you can do a debug IPBGP events. Get lots of info there. If you're having some trouble, you can see what's going on there. Uh, you can do uh, some show commands. You can do um, show IPBGP summary that'll display the status of all the BGP connections, right? Show IPBGP summary. Um, so our, our two statements there, the AS numbers and, you know, how, if, if you have a number here, that means they're up, right? Otherwise, uh, you won't have a number here if they're actually down. So don't really say up, down. It's either, you know, you've got this number means you, you are up and active or, or there's nothing meaning you're not up and active. Um, you can do a show IP BGP neighbor, the neighbor IP and then routes. So you can see routes. You can do a show IP. BGP neighbor and then say one 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 dot two routes and you can see you know we've picked up that 200 200 200 route next hop is pointing out to ISP2 there right then the path there you're going to go through uh, uh, ISP1 which is ASN100 and then ISP or the internet uh, router out there ASN300 and then he's there right um, these are all external BGP routes I guess because everybody's in a different ASN um, or autonomous system, AS. Uh, internal BGP is when you have some routers in the same AS, autonomous system. Um, I guess those are pretty much the basics. Um, you know, there's a lot more you can do, but you know, again, it's very, um, very configurable protocol. You can use it to load balance and all kinds of stuff you can do, but those are the very basics there, I guess. And uh, if you if you need more detail or you have any questions about it, let me know and uh, maybe I can do up a video on, on the details for you.
Um, but it'd probably take like 10 videos to get it all in, so I, I didn't really want to go that route unless you really have a specific request. So I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.